Welcome back to the Edmodo Tutorials. This tutorial we will look at how to assign a quiz. First thing you will need to do is click on the quiz icon. This is our first time creating a quiz so we will click on create a quiz. Looking at the types you have four different types of quiz options multiple choice, true and false, short answer, and fill in the blank. Let's start with multiple choice. Click add the first question. This is a location where you will type your quiz or you could go to a document such as Word or PowerPoint and copy and paste your questions. Let's put our first question in. If we need to, we could attach a link to a website or file in our library as part of our question. Currently there are two response choices. You notice at the bottom we could click add response and continue to add responses. Now we need to fill in the answers. The next thing we need to do is select the correct answer. So B, we'll click on select as the correct answer. And now that my question looks good, I could then go on and add question number two. And you would repeat this process until all of your questions have been added. Let's look at the right side where we have the option to show students their results immediately you can leave the check in the box by default or take the check out. I'm going to leave the check in the box and I'm going to look at my quiz title next. This is where you would type what the name of the quiz is, what the objective is, the purpose behind it. You can also assign a time limit. How many minutes would you like this quiz to take at a maximum? And you have a box over here if you would like to put anything about the quiz. This is a good location for teacher notes such as objectives, uh, days of the week, months, themes, things that you would want to refer to if you were to use this quiz later on. And now that I have completed my quiz, I will click on Assign Quiz. Now you can see the post comes up with the name of the quiz, the amount of questions, and any notes that you put about the quiz. Next thing you will need to do is select a due date. If you would like this quiz to be added to your gradebook within Edmodo, add a check to the box. And finally, which groups are you sending this quiz to? Select your group, click. Now in your group they will have a posting that lets them know that there's a quiz. You will have a posting that lets you know how many people have turned in the quiz. Now we can click back on the Edmodo main link and return to the home page. <music>
After you have entered the question, be sure to pick what the correct answer is. And now continue adding questions until your quiz is complete. The next thing we'll do is go ahead and give our quiz a title. The allotted time for this quiz. And now let's preview how this quiz looks. Select the preview quiz option. Select start the quiz. And now take your quiz. After you've completed the first question, click on next. And select the answer for the next question. After you have completed the quiz, then you would do submit quiz. Yes, we're sure we're ready to end. And now we have the option to view results. Click on the view results. And you can see how you did on the quiz. After you have finished previewing, click on end preview. And now you're ready to assign this quiz. Click on the assign quiz option. That posting has now come up. Select a due date. If you would like the quiz to be added to the Edmodo gradebook, place a check in the box. And finally, assign the quiz to the group or the students that need to take it. Select send. And this quiz is now posted and ready for students to begin the completion process. We will now create a short answer quiz. The first thing we will do is select quiz, click on create a quiz, and we will select short answer. Click add first question and you will now write the first question in the question prompt box. After you have written your question Determine if it is going to be one point or two point or three points for more in the points box. We can now add another question. You can continue adding questions until you have built your quiz. Be sure to change the title. and the amount of time that you are going to allot for this quiz. Once you have completed your quiz, it's a good idea to preview. To preview, we will click on Preview This Quiz. Click on Start the Quiz. This is what the students would see. The students would read the question and type the answer. Then they would click on next. Type the next answer. And once they are finished, and once you are finished, you can submit the quiz. Yes, you're sure. And now you can review your results. And you will see at this time it is not graded. Because these are short answers, the teacher will need to go in and grade them and award points for correct questions and mark those that were wrong, wrong. Now that you've previewed your quiz, you would select End Preview. 
If you're satisfied and you're ready to put this quiz out there, click on Assign Quiz. Your box here at the top, the first thing you'll need to do is select a due date. If you would like the score to be added to the grade book after it has been graded by you, make sure to put a check in the Add the Quiz Score to the grade book. And lastly, assign it to the group or the name of students that will be participating. Then click on the send. And now you can see that this short answer quiz has been added for completion. Our final type of quiz is fill in the blank. To begin, click on quiz, select create a quiz, and from the drop down we will choose fill in the blank. Well, let's add our first question. First thing we need to notice is the top line that says the use of the underscore to specify where you would like the blank to appear in the text that you are typing. And then it will be important for quiz takers that will need to answer the questions in the exact order that they're marked in in order to be correct. Let's write our first fill in the blank question. Use the underscore for the blank. After you've created the question, click on Add. For our second question, let's have multiple blanks. Now that we've created our question, we need to let the computer know what the answers are. You can do this as you create your question or come back and do it at the end. So let's go back to question number one. The answer that goes in my blank, I will type in at the bottom. Question number two, type in at the bottom. And I can continue adding questions. Let's go ahead and take a preview of what this quiz looks like so far. Now that we're on the preview screen, let's start the quiz. So as the quiz taker, I need to type in the blank what the answer is. After I've typed in the blank, I click on next. Again, I go to my next question, and we'll type in an answer here that is wrong, and we'll submit our quiz. Yes, for sure. And now we can view our results, and you will see that on the first one, it marked that it was correct. You can also see that the one is completely green. For question number two, half is green and half is red. You can see the two parts I answered correctly, the question part that I answered incorrectly, and what the correct answer should have been. You also see that it showed me the points that I was awarded. I'm going to go ahead and end my preview. Before I leave, I want to make sure that I give this a title. And I also want to assign point values for each of my blanks in the quiz. Once that is complete, then I can assign the quiz.
back on the main box, I will need to select a due date. If I would like the quiz score to be added to the grade book, I need to put a check in the box. And finally, the group or the students that are receiving the quiz, this needs to be typed in the blank. Then click send. And you will see that those results are now posted to your group. This now concludes the tutorial for posting quizzes on the Edmodo site. Thanks for watching.